Okay, Addis Maximus here. This time I want to review of the Gray WSB60. This is their rock bar. They also call it a pinch point bar. It's also a promotional product. I appreciate Gray's Canada uh, sending this to me. Dynamic Tools is their new website for North American sales, although Gray has been around since 1912 in Canada. So over 100 years, one of Canada's oldest tool companies. And once again, uh, this is indeed made in Canada. One inch handle one and a quarter inch square and that's really what these are they call them pinch point bars but traditionally I've known these as rock bars because they have the one the big one and a quarter inch square that square from the tip to the beginning of the transition 16 inches about 17 and a half here it is forged although what I'm suspecting is it comes as a one and a quarter inch square sock. It comes from a rolling mill. And so the rolling mill, that's a forging process because they're upsetting the material to get it down the size. I suspect they may be doing some kind of roll forging where they heat up the back part and actually run it through a couple of very high pressure wheels to get the round handle. And what makes me suspect that is if we get a closer look here, you can see there's a pretty consistent finish here. You can see they stamp it Gray Canada. But you get right here in this transition area, and you can see the finish changes just a little bit. So I suspect when they're roll forging it, it stops right about here. And then what they do is they just do a grinding process to smooth it out a little bit. They do inappropriately list it as a hex shank, even though it's a one inch round shank. And even the photos show that. So I didn't mention to them they should update their website. Otherwise, premium alloy steel, heat treated, Really pretty darn nice. We can see on the pinch point here that we can see, there you go, you can just see the machining marks. Really pretty well made tools. Pretty nice finish. And I should show this. Not much flex. I weigh 250 pounds, so that's 250 pounds bouncing up and down right in the middle of it. And we're not getting much flex, so it's definitely a heavy-duty bar. Now, I did review earlier the gray C73. I should mention that with the 15% discount, I have a discount code in the description, uh, this bar will be about 125 versus around 110 or so for the C73. And so the big deal about these, both of these bars here are gray. 60 inch bars but the reason they're known as a rock bar is just the fact that versus this one inch diameter which i know is more of a traditional uh, pry bar or pinch bar these big square ends you just get 16 inches of one and a quarter inch square material so when you're using big pry, any pry bar but particularly big ones it's right here, right near, right in the area near the, the, the actual toe that ends up bending. So the whole point to one of these is the fact that it gives you, these things are awkward to handle. So the deal with the square is that it just provides extra material right at the highest stress area where the most leverage is occurring. And once again here, this rock bar weighs 17 and a half pounds, where you're talking 14 pounds for the pinch bar. So, three and a half pounds more steel. There's just a big quick comparison of how the uh, hooks work. So you kind of have to decide if you really just want the rock bar, the ultimate uh, in strength, or if you want just a more of a traditional pry bar uh, shape to the end. Anyway, not a lot else to say. Really like it. It is a pretty high quality rock bar. You know, a while ago I had reviewed this thing, which is the like $30, $35 Harbor Freight Collins Axes. You know, there are these cheaper carbon steel rock bars. And these are the ones that have like the hex forged into the shank. Because they're using a much lower grade steel, they just throw a lot more metal at it. And for a lot of people it works, but it's just not super strong. And the biggest comment I found beside not just the Harbor Freight Pittsburghs is for a lot of people they work, but for a lot of the issues is, is that when you put a lot of stress on them, come on camera, 
this fork ends up just snapping off. And so you may be a person who has had that happen or may just want a higher quality tool to begin with. And so this Gray's WSB60 would fit that bill. It's really a well-made, North American-made rock bar with a nice chrome finish. Really do appreciate this tool. And interestingly enough, they put a hole in the handle, so I guess you can put a piece of wire and hang it up somewhere. I find that, uh, you know, a little bit interesting. One thing I should mention is versus a Harbor Freight, which is a little bit, you know, has a little bit of a curve, a little bit of a wobble. This, they straighten into the factory. This is really, really straight. As a matter of fact, if we take like an Empire uh, cutting straight edge and we put it against it, this thing is just about, whether we do on the side here or 90 degrees out, if I can get it to cooperate, like so, it is, come on now, there we go, really, really straight. It's actually surprising. Usually there's going to be some type of curve, but both of those gray pry bars and or the other pry bar, the C73 and this WSB60 are actually really straight. They did pay careful attention to that. And these pry bars have a lifetime warranty. It is limited, so they're not going to replace it if you bend it. But if it snaps off, if it breaks right here at the transition, or you break the tooth off, they will replace it. Although I believe they want you to send it in, which would be a few dollars. For a pry bar this big but it really kind of depends you know if you they do have a customer service so you may just be able to send them photos and say hey my pry bar snapped and uh, they may just send you a new one anyway these types of bars are really handy if you're digging in tough soils be you know doing post holes just because of the mass you can just use them to drive down and chip away at a lot of material that's where the having a higher quality alloy steel with that's heat treated is going to make a difference because it's going to mean that the fine edge of the tip here is just going to last a little bit longer just hold up a little bit better anyway i'm stoked they sent this to me i've always want i've always wanted a rock bar got the cheap one but I, what i really wanted was a nice premium grade rock bar and uh this gray wsb60 fits the bill really appreciate you all watching See you next time.